I've just watched an hour and a half long total burn of a video by the mighty Faria Faraji. It's called Orientalism, Desert Level Music versus Actual Middle Eastern Music. And I'm not going to reiterate the whole thing here. Suffice it to say that I 100% totally agree with him. Orientalism, which is essentially a Western take on the so-called East, that is designed to perpetuate a cultural power relationship between the West and the East, has actually sold us a complete lie and it means we've actually missed out on a lot of stuff. 99% of people who think they've heard Middle Eastern music through film soundtracks, game soundtracks, have been completely misled. You haven't heard Middle Eastern music. He goes into great detail about that. Watch his video. Now in both of our musical incarnations, Secret Archives of the Vatican and Thousand Yard Prayer, we have very much dug into Eastern tropes, concepts, ideas, Arabian, Persian, Central Asian, and Far East tropes, very much into ideas from the Asian subcontinent. And it could be argued that a lot of the music we've made over the years is 100% Orientalist in the way that Faria Faraji describes it in his video. However, one of his points is that a lot of these composers are just lazy. They don't learn anything about the musical theory or the culture or the ways of expressing music that would be authentic to the cultures they derive from. Many years ago, when we were first discovering this, I'm talking 30 years ago, we were discovering music from South Asia and then various parts of the Middle East. And I did do a lot of studying, a lot of listening. I aspired to create something with those vibes, those feelings, but had no real technical skill on instruments. But I did read a lot of books. I've got a few here. Um, just so I understood some of the things that I was listening to so that I wasn't completely ignorant. Now the problem was I was unable to play the instruments. I got the gist of the music theory but was never able to do it or articulate it in our own music. And now as the years have gone by I've acquired various bits of music software that have emulations of many of the instruments from those parts of the world varying degrees of quality but I've been very very aware that what we do is not Arabian or Turkish or Persian it is our own music and I'm sure that we do in fact I know we do lapse into using the the cliched musical modes and scales that to the western ear says oriental we've been trained to hear those things as oriental even though they sometimes barely feature in actual oriental music however in our defense for both of the musical projects, Secret Archives of the Vatican and Thousand Yard Prayer, we realised that that was the case many years ago. We can capture some of the sounds and the flavours, but what we're doing is not Eastern music. It's Western music, it's modern Western music. And a few years back, as my knowledge grew, I consciously owned that. So, if you were to look at our Instagram page, for Secret Archives of the Vatican. In the description line, we've got quite a limited um, space to say who you are. One of the phrases I've used in there, I refer to an ancient Orient that never was. I acknowledge that basically some of our music alludes to kind of a fantasy version of the East. It's a Thousand and One Nights version of the East. It never happened. And we will mix instruments from different parts of the world, but quite consciously not claiming that it's authentically anything. Our Thousand Yard Prayer incarnation is probably where we're currently doing the most Orientalist music. And in our description there, we call that cultured electronic music transglobal breakbeat dub science. We throw the word transglobal in there to acknowledge that what we're doing is pulling stuff from all kinds of places and putting it together. It's modern music. And in our hashtags, I've got into the habit of for quite a few of the tracks using the hashtag Orientalist Beats. 
or just Orientalist, fully acknowledging that what we're doing is kind of a, in one sense, kind of a crude cultural appropriation, but hopefully not in a disrespectful way. That has never been our purpose. Both I and my musical partner grew up in London, where we are first-hand exposed to music from various parts of the world, particularly South Asian. I've had the privilege of traveling to various parts of the Arabic speaking world and I studied Arabic for a short while and I've been to various music festivals in other parts of the world. So a lot of this music is not totally alien to me. I've got enough of a finger hold in some of those worlds to kind of say that I know what I don't know. I know the lack of knowledge of the ins and outs of the theory despite my reading. I know that I can never emulate it. Some of the articulations in vocals or in, or in playing instruments, I will never be able to achieve them because I haven't grown up in them enough to have absorbed them to become natural to me. And that's fine as long as I think we own it, we acknowledge it, and it's up front. So when we do our music and it's kind of Hollywood, fake, fantasy, Middle Eastern. We're up front with saying, yeah, that's what it is. It's music for entertainment. It gives you a flavor. And if therefore we can encourage people to go have a look, hunt out some of the source, listen to some real Iranian music, listen to some real Arabian music from various parts of the world, listen to some North African music, Central Asian music, South Asian music, then actually we've achieved something. We've pointed people in the direction of an entire planet full of amazing culture that we have I think quite deliberately been deprived of by mainstream media that benefit from serving us the same old crap over and over again. Now I agree with Faria on pretty much everything actually. Uh, one of the things he points out is that a film soundtrack is a different thing from all the artists on YouTube who claim to give you an hour of Persian music or an hour of Arabian desert music. A film soundtrack's a film soundtrack. It's to create a vibe for a film. And most of them do not pretend that what they're doing is in any way authentic. But some of these other things on YouTube very much do, and they're very much wrong. We try to get past that by being totally upfront and saying what we do is not historically, musicologically authentic in any way. We love a lot of the sounds, we love a lot of the scales and modes, we love the instruments. We have technical issues with attempting non-Western tunings. We have occasionally had a go at that and sometimes it's kind of worked. That's something we're still working on. We would love to do more in, in that realm. But in the meantime, our music is what it is. It's our music, it's modern music, it's Western music, even if it alludes to other parts of the world. And uh, we hope you like some of what we do.